Oh, I have a very simple question for the Foreign Secretary. Just what will it take? How many thousands of innocent Palestinians must be slaughtered before this government condemns this brutality and bloodshed? That's Labour MP for Bradford East, Imran Hussein, and my MP as well, actually. Clearly very passionate about what is happening in Gaza. But is it passion or just complete anger with the attitude of this government and Foreign Secretary? James not so cleverly, or both. Why am I asking? I'll become clear later on. Uh, Mr Speaker, since I raised the question with the Prime Minister last week, indiscriminate airstrikes and the total siege on food, water and medical supplies have killed thousands of innocent Palestinian men and women and over 1,000 children. So let us be absolutely clear in this House this is now beyond a humanitarian catastrophe. Even as we stand here today, the innocent blood continues to be spilled on the streets of Gaza. Mosques, churches, schools, hospitals, bakeries, water plants and homes continue to be flattened by the Israeli military. So I have a very simple question for the Foreign Secretary. Just what will it take? How many thousands of innocent Palestinians must be slaughtered before this government condemns this brutality and bloodshed? Uh, Mr Speaker, we have consistently said that we want to minimise further loss of life, that the uh, lives lost of the Palestinian people uh, is something that, uh, of course, we grieve. But we must never lose sight of the fact that during that period of time, uh, since the 7th of October, thousands of rockets have been fired from Gaza into Israel. Indeed, we now have uh, uh, an assessment that one of the most high-profile loss of lives uh, in Gaza, something that was covered extensively on the British and international media, was likely caused by a rocket emanating from Gaza targeting Israel. So I respect... I respect the right. I respect the honourable gentleman's passion uh, about the preservation of life. I can assure him that I share his passion. But we must, we must, we must be thoughtful, and we must remember why this is happening. The single largest murder of Jews since the Holocaust, initiated by Hamas, who then put Palestinians intentionally in harm's way as part of their operations must not be forgotten about. So what James Clever is saying here is it's OK for Israel to flatten Gaza, but not OK for it to be the other way around. Now, don't get me wrong, what Hamas did is a disgrace and rightly condemned, but for me, two wrongs don't make it right, does it? And then he talks about what happened to a hospital and who fired this rocket to where, totally ignoring the buildings Imran Hussein talked about, and then goes to patronise him, doesn't he, with the I respect the right honourable gentleman's passion drivel. That's the reason why I asked, was it passion or anger? To me, that wasn't passion, that looked more like anger to me. But anyway, I don't think you do understand anyway, James, not so cleverly. I have said before that I just tend to find what's happening to the innocent Palestinian people who clearly have nothing to do with Hamas are just a bit of an afterthought, and then talks about who started this. Well, for me, it depends on what date you want to start from, isn't it, on this situation, especially for some people. Also, I'm surprised you didn't go for the full-on emergency Islington North break glass button. <coughs> but anyway, I just want to ask, do you think it was just passion from Imran Hussein or just complete anger towards this government? And was the question justified? For me, I thought so, but what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I shall just leave the video here. Until the next time, take care, my friends.